In this lesson, we want to talk about solving logarithmic equations. All right, so we're going to start out with an easy example. So we have that negative 9 times log base 11 of negative 4x plus 2 plus 4 equals negative 5. So when you see something like this with just one logarithm involved, you should be thinking about simplifying things and basically trying to get this into exponential form. That's how you're going to solve this type of equation. So what I'm going to do to kick things off, I'm just going to subtract 4 away from each side of the equation. So what's going to happen is that would cancel over here. On the right side, I would now have negative 9 because negative 5 plus negative 4, negative 5 minus 4, if you want to think about it that way, would be negative 9. On the left side, I would have that negative 9 times log base 11 of this negative 4x plus 2. Okay, so from here, what do I want to do now? Well, notice how you have this negative 9 here that's multiplying this log base 11 of, again, this negative 4x plus 2. So to get rid of that, because this is multiplication, I can use division. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 9, and that will clean this up further. So this is going to cancel. And on the left, I'm just going to have that log base 11 of, you've got that negative 4x plus 2. On the right, what do I have? Negative 9 divided by negative 9, that's going to be 1. Okay, so let's scroll down and get some room going, and we'll look at what we have here. Now, I'm going to write this in exponential form. So I'm just going to take this base here, and I'm going to raise it to this guy right here, this 1. So we have 11 to the first power, and this will be equal to this guy right here, this negative 4x plus 2. Now, 11 to the first power is just 11, so you can erase that if you want. And basically, you just want to solve this very simple equation to get our solution. So what I'm going to do is just subtract 2 away from both sides. So I'll have 11 minus 2, which is positive 9. So 9 is equal to negative 4x. And what I want to do now to get x by itself, again, I have this negative 4 that's multiplying x, so let's divide both sides by negative 4. And, of course, now this cancels with this, and I'm going to have that x is equal to, you've got 9 over negative 4, which is basically negative 9 fourths. Now let's stop for a minute. When you work with these kind of logarithmic equations, you always want to check your solutions and make sure they're valid in the original equation. Okay, a lot of times when you're working with these, you're going to get solutions that violate the domain. Okay, and so you've got to reject those solutions. So let's go ahead and check this real quick. I'm just going to tell you in advance this one does work out, but you'll see some in this lesson that don't work. So let me erase everything real quick. So again, we have that x is equal to negative 9 fourths. So I'm just going to plug that in right here and see what happens. So we have negative 9 times log base 11 of Negative 4 times negative 9 fourths. Let's do that off to the side. Negative 4 times negative 9 fourths. We know the 4s would cancel. The negatives would cancel, and you'd have 9. So this would be 9 plus 2, which is 11. And let's just erase this real quick. And then we have plus 4, and this equals negative 5. What is log base 11 of 11? Well, again, 11 to the first power would give me 11. So log base 11 of 11 is just 1. So let's put a 1 here. Now, negative 9 times 1 is just negative 9, and negative 9 plus 4 would give me negative 5. So it does take a few minutes to kind of check things, but you always want to make sure that your solution works out and also that you don't have a domain violation. If you do, if you plug something in there and you end up with taking the logarithm of a negative number, as an example, you want to reject that solution. Let's take a look at kind of a harder example, and I will say harder, but... It's just a little bit different in the way that you solve it. You have a log base 7 on each side of the equation. So if I have log base a of x is equal to log base a of, let's say, y, this implies that x is equal to y. So we have a logarithm with the same base on each side of the equation. They're set equal to each other. So you can just say that x is equal to y in this circumstance. So that's what we're going to use here to solve this equation. So we have that log base 7 of 3x equals log base 7 of 70 minus x squared. Again, notice how you have the same base on each side. They're set equal to each other. So you don't have to do anything else other than just say that I have 3x here is equal to this guy right here, which is 70 minus x squared. So this is what we want to solve. So to make this simpler, I'm just going to move everything to the left-hand side. So if I add x squared to both sides, I get x squared over here. 
then plus 3x, and then if I subtract 70 away from both sides, I'd have minus 70, and this equals 0, okay? So from this point, I can solve this using factoring, or I can use a quadratic formula, or I can even complete the square if I want. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to do, I'm just going to solve it with factoring because it's usually the fastest. So I'm just going to factor this and say this is x, and it's going to be, let's see, plus 10, and then x minus 7, and this equals 0. Okay. So from here, I'm going to set each of these equal to 0. So I'm going to say x plus 10 equals 0. Of course, the solution here is that x is equal to negative 10. And then here, if I say x minus 7 equals 0, of course, the solution is x equals 7. So these are the two proposed solutions, x equals negative 10 and x equals 7. So here's going to be an example where we have a domain violation and we've got to reject one of the solutions. So let me erase everything real quick. And now let's look at these more closely. So when we work with negative 10, we'll see we have a problem. Let's say I had 3 times negative 10, that's negative 30. So log base 7 of negative 30, again, this is undefined. You don't even need to plug anything else in. Once you see that it fails somewhere, just reject the solution and move on. So this is rejected, so that's not a possibility. So now I can try 7, and I can say, okay, I have log base 7 of, what is 3 times 7? That's 21. And this equals, you have log base 7 of, 7 squared is 49, and 70 minus 49 is 21 as well. So this one does work out as a solution. All right, let's take a look at another one. So we have log base 5 of 9 plus log base 5 of 2x squared plus 3, and this equals 3. So for this type of scenario, you want to turn to your properties of logarithms. Notice that you have the same base here in each case, and you have this addition involved. So we already know that we can manipulate this into one logarithm, right? We can condense. So what we're going to do here is say that we have log base 5 of, remember, if it's addition, you're going to turn it when you condense it into multiplication. It's going to be this guy right here times this guy right here. So 9 times the quantity, make sure you use parentheses, 2x squared plus 3, okay? And let me put another parenthesis there, and this equals 3. Okay, so let's go through and figure this out. We have log base 5 of 9 times 2x squared is 18x squared. And then plus 9 times 3 is 27. Okay, so this equals 3. So from here, all I want to do is just write this in exponential form. And I can very easily get a solution. So 5 to the third power, which is 125, will be equal to the argument here, this guy, this 18x squared, 18x squared plus 27. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 125 away from each side of the equation. And what is that going to give me? I'm going to have that 18x squared minus, you do 27 minus 125, you're going to get negative 98. So that's why I have minus 98 there. And this would be equal to zero, okay? So from here, you can use the quadratic formula if you want, but it's quickest to realize that you have the difference of squares if you factor out a 2, okay? So if I take a 2 out, I would have 2 times the quantity. From 18, I pull out a 2, I get 9, then times x squared, and the minus. If I pull out a 2 from 98, I get 49. And of course, this equals 0. And once you see it like this, you realize that it's the difference of two squares. So we can factor this very quickly using our formula. We say this is 2 times the quantity 3x plus 7 times the quantity 3x minus 7. Of course, this is still equal to 0. So from here, what we're going to do is set each factor with a variable involved equal to 0. So I'm going to say that 3x plus 7 equals 0. Subtract 7 away from each side of the equation. You get 3x is equal to negative 7. Divide both sides by 3. And one proposed solution would be that x is equal to negative 7 thirds. So let me erase this so we have a little room, and I'll write this up here. I'll say x is equal to negative 7 thirds. And then for the other guy, I'm going to say that 3x minus 7 is equal to 0, and I'm going to add 7 to both sides of the equation. And I'll have that 3x is equal to 7, divide both sides by 3, and I'm going to get that x is equal to 7 thirds. Now, in the interest of time, because I don't want this to go on forever and ever and ever, I'm just going to tell you in advance that both of these solutions are going to work. They're valid solutions. But again, when you're solving logarithmic equations, you've got to stop. You've got to check. 
Okay, you got to make sure that you don't end up with a domain restriction. I've already checked this, so in the interest of time, we're just going to move on and say our solutions are going to be x equals negative 7 thirds or 7 thirds. Let's go ahead and look at one more example. Again, this is a very easy topic. Most of these can be solved within just a few minutes. Usually the checking is what takes the longest because sometimes you run into some messy things that you have to work with. All right, so we have log base 9 of, you have negative 3x minus 3, then minus log base 9 of 4, and this equals 1. So I have a minus here, and again, I've got log base 9 and log base 9. So again, when I try to condense this into one logarithm, because there's a subtraction sign, I'm thinking about division. So I'm going to have my log base 9 of, this first guy here is going to be the numerator, so negative 3x minus 3. This will be over. The second guy is my denominator, and this all will be equal to 1. Okay, so how do we solve this? We put this in exponential form. So 9 to the first power, which is just 9, is equal to this guy right here, this negative 3x minus 3. This is over 4. All right, so let's solve this real quick. It's very easy. We just multiply both sides by 4 to clear the denominator. So you're going to get what? Multiply by 4, multiply by 4. This cancels. You get 36 equals negative 3x minus 3. You can add 3 to both sides of the equation. And so you're going to get that 39 is equal to negative 3x. Let's go down and get a little bit more room going. And I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. And what do I end up with? This cancels. I get x is equal to negative 13. Let me make that a little bit better. So x equals negative 13. So that's going to be our solution. Again, I've already checked this. If you want to go back, pause the video, you'll see that it does work out as a solution.